part of the reason that people like Andrew Tate are so attractive to young guys is because they do put up that confident, that false confidence. It's, Tate's a complicated guy because it's not all false, you know? Real people are complicated the way that like villains in, in comic books aren't. Tate's a fighter. It's clearly the case that he's got a certain degree of physical bravery. That's real, all right? There's an element of what he says that's very attractive to bed, bedroom basement dwelling losers because he's at least there out in the world, you know, taking the blows and he's got a fast car and he's flashy and he's attractive to women. But a lot of what he's done, especially with women, doesn't just border into the psychopathic, it crosses the line. And that's not a good model. It's not an optimal model for people who are trying to progress. Join Jordan Peterson in this illuminating video as he navigates the intricate landscape of confidence using Andrew Tate as a case study. Peterson delves into the multifaceted nature of Tate's appeal, dissecting the blend of genuine bravery and questionable behavior that characterizes his persona. Through insightful analysis, he reveals how Tate's ostensible confidence resonates with individuals grappling with feelings of inadequacy and immaturity. Drawing upon his clinical experience, Peterson explores the transformative power of facing rejection and embracing criticism as catalysts for personal growth. He unpacks the notion that venturing into darkness, metaphorically, can lead to newfound strength and resilience. As the discussion unfolds, Peterson provides a nuanced perspective on navigating adversaries and utilizing criticism constructively to uncover hidden aspects of oneself. But it's a strange thing because just as cynicism is an improvement over naivety, right, the capacity to be dark is an improvement over the lack of ability to be dark at all. And so Tate is attractive in the way that the shadow beckons to people who are undeveloped. Right, because it does. It's like you're you're neurotic and you're dependent and you're repressed because you're immature and harmless. Well, one way out of that is to stop being harmless. And one of the things you can say about Tate is that he's not harmless. Right. Well, that's that's a it's a virtue. Now, it's a virtue that has to be bracketed. It's like cynicism is a virtue compared to naivety, but it's not. It's not virtuous in and of itself. It's a step on the way. And so maybe you can learn how to feign confidence and you can learn how that works and maybe that's an improvement. I had a guy in my clinical practice who got involved with the pickup artist community and he told me, taught me a lot about it. And one of the exercises that their initiates had to do was to go out and ask 50 women for their phone number in one day. And that's a great exercise, you know, and I'm not Exposure therapy, approach absolutely, anxiety. Absolutely, absolutely. Getting over your fear of rejection, right? Yeah. And 50 times will do that because you're going to get rejected the vast majority of 50 times. 50 times. But, well, <laughs> likely 50 times. Although generally that wasn't people's experience, you yeah. know. If, if they were even vaguely skilled, they'd at least get a false phone number out of the deal. But then they could they learn that the rejection wasn't as catastrophic as they thought, but Correct. more importantly, they learned that they could continue moving forward in the face of rejection. Question. Well, the stupidest person in the room is the person who doesn't know and won't ask, or even worse, who doesn't know and won't ask and acts like they know. Ah, uh, yeah. That's not good yeah, at yeah, all. Yeah. yeah. There's yeah, a, yeah. from your- See, that's part of that idea that you should love your enemy. So you might say, well, why should you do that? Well, your enemy is gonna be your harshest critic. Now, it's possible that if you have a very good enemy, that he will show you flaws in your character that you didn't know were there. And so that's a, it's, a very, it's a very strange way of looking at the world to think that you should welcome an attack. You should, it, and this is, but this is right. It, yeah. I'm saying that with all due caution, let's say. Hmm. The, more, the more vicious the attack, the more of your potential hidden flaws might be revealed. Have you found right? that to be true? Oh, definitely. But I've also found that the, the attacks force you to contend with it, to, to see if it's there, right? To, to test it. 